all right what's going on everybody so this is just going to be a very brief video describing how to get a good finish on your parts after you fiberglass them i've had a lot of people emailing me and questioning me what i do to get a good finish and how i paint my hydrofoils okay so this is a twin tip that i recently made for myself and um the finish is very nice it came out very well um, nice shiny it looks good so to get this type of finish on say a hydrofoil wing or parts um, what I do is I will glass the part and then lightly give that part a sand once the fiberglass has cured um, and then once it's sanded I'll do a final coat of epoxy so I'll mix up a batch and then I'll use a paintbrush and paint over everything and just leave a layer on top and just let that sit and let that cure up and then that'll give you that nice top layer um, that's nice and smooth that just gives a good look so that's what I do I do that at the very end once it's all together I'll put that final coat on I'll do the whole thing at once um, and just let it cure now there are a couple factors that go into that because in the beginning I wasn't getting a nice finish. What would happen is my epoxy would, um, I get all sorts of fish eyes and uh, defects that really didn't go well. It didn't look nice. Um, I, ha I would have to sand everything and completely, re completely redo it. So there's a couple tricks I've learned along the way that um, will be helpful to you. So the first thing, is I mix my epoxy in foam cups. I used to use, in the beginning while I was using these um, uh, plastic thin like Dixie cups, these plastic cups, and what I didn't realize was those had a slight residue on the inside. Um, and that would mix with the epoxy and, and cause issues. And the same thing goes with paper cups. Paper cups, they have a very thin layer of wax on the inside and that wax will get scraped off and mixed with your epoxy as you're mixing it and that will cause defects so I use these foam cups I get them at the dollar store I get like 50 of them for literally a dollar so these things are great um, they don't have any of that residue and they work well and I'll mix with popsicle sticks um, just plain simple um, nothing crazy to them so that's one trick that I've learned that um, could help you guys out. Another trick that I've, well, it's not really a trick, it's just something you should do. <clears throat> Another trick that I've learned, it's not really a trick, it's just something you should do when working with this stuff, is always wear gloves. Um, even when the part is cured and you're handling it, maybe you're sanding your wing, maybe you're trimming up the edges, Wear gloves the whole time. Do not touch the part until it is 100% glossed over and painted. Do not touch it without gloves because you're gonna have, you're gonna get little um, oil residue from your finger onto the part and that's gonna create issues on that final coat of epoxy. Um, so it's best you don't touch the part unless you're wearing gloves. That's another key uh, trick that I learned and it really helps out a lot. And then that that goes that also goes into make sure your tools are clean. Make sure they don't have oil on them. Uh, maybe wipe them down. Just be mindful of what you're handling before you start handling these parts because it will affect the final finish. And um, lastly, so I'll use a paintbrush like this. This one, as you can see, I used for this board. Um, again, I get these at the dollar store. They're really cheap. So this thing was 50 cents. Um, and I do that because once you use it, you're not getting that epoxy out. Um, it's just kind of use it once and throw it away. It's kind of wasteful, but unfortunately that's just how it is. So that's what I use when I do the final coats of my hydrofoils. I'll use brushes like this. And as far as paint goes, <clears throat> once I've given everything a final coat of epoxy with my brush and it's all cured, I'll go with some light sandpaper, probably... 120, 150 grit, something around there. And I'll just lightly give that uh, 
nice smooth coat a light sand so that the paint now has something to stick to um, and as far as paint goes I'll do a few coats of this is just Krylon um, flat white so you know this is the um, this is the paint that I like to use and um, lighter coats work better so you do five light coats instead of say two heavy coats because you won't get any drips with light coats and then once that is dried I'll give um, quite a few coats of clear coat and yeah once again use use many light coats instead of a few heavy coats and um, this stuff works great I painted a foil I think two years ago and the paint is still on there um, so that's holding up very well so that's the paint I use and the paint is done dead last after you lightly sand the whole thing so that's how I go about that and lastly just to make your life easier when you're doing that final epoxy coat so say I have this part laid down okay it's fiberglass I just lightly sanded the fiberglass I give it a coat of epoxy on this side okay I let it sit now it's cured all right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over of course I'm gonna be wearing gloves doing this and then I'm gonna um, sand this side down the, there might be a few drips along the edges but I'm gonna sand this smooth and now say this side is already done I'm just gonna take some painters tape and go around the whole perimeter okay and that's gonna keep drips from dripping onto the finished side while you do the other side so then I'm gonna do this side give it a final coat that's gonna cure and then I'm going to take the tape off and just do a light final sand around the edges to clean up those drips and then that's it you'll have a part with a nice finish on both sides um, otherwise if you don't use the tape what ends up happening is you might get some drips that come and stick to your already finished side and then you gotta file those down or sand those down and then the part doesn't have the intended finish that you had hoped all right so those are just a couple tips that many of you have asked for so I figured I'd put it in a video so now you know um, they'll definitely help you out along the way and they'll make your build go quicker better and you'll end up with a, a nicer looking foil at the end